Hi, welcome to this InDesign tutorial. This time we're looking at nested lists. This is computer tutoring. Hi, so we're looking at nested lists in this tutorial and in particular two types, bullet lists and numbered lists. Now the easiest of the two are bullet lists. So let's get started. If you haven't already done so, then you can download this exercise file or you can just type something up basically. I've just got a few uh, list items here, but you can get the idea. So the first thing with a bullet list. Uh, now, if you haven't already done so, I recommend, I insist that you look at that style, uh, the paragraph styles tutorial. Have a look at that style tutorial because without paragraph styles this is going to drive you insane. So yeah, so what have I got here? So let's have a look here. Say for instance I want to create a list. I want to start straight off with the paragraph styles. Um, to get you sort of started I'm just going to highlight this here. So things to do, got these ones here. If you're using a later version of um, Adobe InDesign, <coughs> excuse me. So if you're, <laughs> I'm, I'm all right, don't worry. If you're using a uh, later version of Adobe InDesign, then what you can do is you can go to the properties and, and scroll all the way down. And in the paragraph section, there's a bit there called bullets and numbering. Let me just zoom in so you can see, you know, that one there. So you can see that section there, which has got bullets and numbering. So you can click on the bullet list just here, and it will then turn all of those into bullets. If, however, your little bit on the CS6s on older versions of InDesign, you might need to go through the paragraph window. So that would be up to the top to the word paragraph. If I just zoom in here, we go up to window. Uh, and then you would go to type and tables and paragraph. So you can do this one. I've got one up here, you can see. And then you can go to the quick panel options uh, or the panel options menu, just top right hand corner and go down to and choose uh, bullets and numbering. So I'll do it that way, just so that takes into account absolutely everybody. Uh, there we go. We've got bullets and numbering just here. The list type I want to choose is going to be bullets. So I choose bullets. You can see the list is automatically applied because I have this preview checkbox here ticked in the bottom left hand corner. So make sure you do that. So I can see my bullet styles here as well. I can just adjust using this section. If I just zoom in, you see, uh, I can then see, okay, uh, I've got this uh, here. I can increase the left to bring the bullet. I can uh, here, so I can bring the whole lot out. It will just bring things across. I can then adjust the tab position if I want to bring things closer to it. Just be careful as you're mucking around with these here, because things can go a bit or a, a bit dodgy really quickly. Um, not so much with the bullets, definitely so with the number. Um, so we'll have a quick look at um, stuff like that. Um, the alignment as well, you can change. We'll look at that more in the numbers. We do that. Great, that's it. So there we go. That's our first bullet list. Oh, let me just uh, remove the left indent a little bit and then bring the tab. So we just bring it back a little bit more. That's it. And then bring the tab a little position. Uh, that's good. Brilliant. All righty then, so there we got a list there, that's fine. I'm gonna click on, uh, I don't know. yeah, I think that's good. If you wanna change the bullet character, just one quick thing I've got here, I've got a list of bullet characters that are already here. You can click on this add button on the right hand side, just here, uh, and then that one will bring up a character list that you can uh, choose your font just from the bottom. So at the moment, my font is Arial. So if I click on that drop down list, let's just zoom back so you can see. Uh, and then I can scroll down this list and go to one that you'd always be familiar with, Wingdings. Here we go. So we've got certain things we can use for bullets. If I look down, there should be something like arrows or boxes or uh, there we go, sort of little stars or anything like that at all. Here we go. So say I want a star, I'll use this star here. Oh, yeah, I'll use this star here. Just click on that and then click on ads, click on OK. There's the star, so if I click on it, you can see that my bullets are now stars. That's great. If you've looked at our character style tutorial, you'll know how to bring into char character style. So if I go here, I've clicked one, uh, and I can go to, and I can create a new character style just here, uh, and I change my character color, say, to a pink. So there's a bright pink color. Click on OK, and then whatever character style I've added here, um, it will be on basically this bullet point. So you can see that, that it's pink. That's good. So far, so good. So click on OK. Incidentally, if I need to change the name of the character style, I can go to Window and down to Styles and then Character Styles here. There's my character styles. I can just right click and edit it. 
Uh, and I can just call this one pink highlight or whatever. Okay. Okay, that gives you a better name, but it's still applied to those bullet lists here. You can see the two style buttons I've hit, um, got just over here. That I can see these little style buttons here. So it's the paragraph graph styles that we're going to use most of all in this tutorial. Let me just zoom back. Great. So you can see that that there is pink. Excellent. All right. So next thing I need to do is I need to create a style out of this. So uh, I don't have to select the whole lot. I just need to select a few of them. That's great. I can then go to window and then down to styles and across and down to paragraph styles here. Uh, so here we go. So I've got that uh, selected. You can see that uh, there's no style or anything selected here just yet. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to click on the plus just here and there's my new paragraph style one. So I'm just going to double click on that. Uh, and then you can see paragraph style one here is created at the top. Uh, if I go down here and I can click on bullets and numbering, I can see it's picked up pink highlight and it's where we've been so the bullet character, that's great. So I need to call this one bullet level or LVL1. And I make all the adjustments that I need to it here, you know, so I can go to the paragraph style format, so I can go to indents and spacing if I need to add some space before, just space them out a little bit. Uh, and I would always go back to my style should I need to change them. If I click on OK, that's great, excellent. Uh, okay, um, so just make sure I click in any sort of area. That's it, that's great. Cool. If I want to make sure that these style is applied to all of them, what I'll do is I'll just go back and just make sure all of them are highlighted. So if I just select all of them up here like so, should have that, done that earlier. And then I click on bullet level one. Ah, there we go. The spacing is all evenly spaced there. That looks a whole lot better. That's good. Let me just click away, make sure nothing's selected. Uh, and I think I accidentally added this earlier, so I'm just going to drag that one to the rubbish bin. Great. So I now need a level two style. So what I do here is let's say, for instance, under snorkeling, I'm going to select diving up to uh, snorkeling here, just flippers down to diving, that'll do. Um, and then I am going to do a new style. Uh, where's my new style? There it is at the bottom, just going to double click on it. And I'm going to call this style bullets level two. Now, if you think I'm going through this quite quickly, then please see our styles, our paragraph styles tutorial. Uh, there's one on paragraph styles. And hopefully by the time this has come out, there should be one on character styles as well. That's great. So it's going to be based on, I'm just going to base this on, yeah, I'll base this on bullet level one. So it's going to inherit whatever this has, but I might need to change a few bits here. So let's just go into bullets and numbering. Uh, let's just change the bullet type to a normal one. Let's just bring it in a little bit. So just move it in a little bit like so. Let's just change the chat tab position to bring it so. That's good. Do I need my character style? Let's say none for that one. So that's going to still be black. That's fine. Also with the indents and spacing, I don't probably need that space before. So I'm just going to bring that in just a little bit. There's a little bit of a space after as well. So I can just bring that in a little bit there. So the main bullet heading is spaced out, but the nested one here is, yeah, spaced in. Great. So when I've done that, that's fine. Click on OK. Uh, and there we go. So we've got bullet level one, bullet level two. If you just want to assi assign those styles, you can just go down and think, well, hiking, running, camping. If I want to nest that, I can click on that, click on level two. There we go. And it's got there. Go flying, gliding, paragliding, airplane. So that's that one there, level two. That's good. Uh, if you don't know the quick styles, I can just highlight this one here. Control enter for my quick styles and just call that one bullets. It's bullet level two. That's the one I want. So again, see the paragraph styles video if you want to see more detail on using these quick styles. Really good. Great. So that's the bullet styles. Let's move quickly on to the um, uh, nested um, numbered style. So what I'm going to just do is highlight all of this. We're going to go back to the beginning. I'm going to change this to standard text. Oops, there we go. So with the nested styles, what we're going to do exactly the same. You highlight off this whole list here. Let's just do this um, again uh, by the old method, by going to paragraph styles and the paragraph options menu. We're going to go down to and choose bullets and numbering again. This time, though, we would choose numbers. So we have our numbers list here, which is great. Uh, one of the things that's really cool with that, you've got the format one, two, three. But if down here, where you've got the numbers and the positions, you've got left. Well, you can change this to right. But if you want to see anything of this, then you just increase the left indent. If you keep on increasing the left indent, you can see, you see very closely just over here that the numbers now are right. But they don't appear right until you, oops, sorry. 
uh, that's it. They won't appear aligned right until you've increased your left in indent sufficiently. So if I decrease it, you see if there's not enough room, then you see the numbers here are pushing to the left. You think that's weird. I got it as right and it's appeared and it looks left. So yeah. So just increase the left indent a little bit. That's good. And there we go. We've got some there. Great. Uh, and again, you can do spacing, etc. So that's fine for this one here. I'm just going to click on uh, OK for that one. And again, I'll just do a style out of it. So click on the style, click on the new style button. There's paragraph style one. So if I double click on this and I'll call it number level one. Uh, and, I, and again, I would have a quick look and see my, um, where is it, my uh, indents and spacing and add a space before if I need to. Probably best to select the whole thing, you know, uh, that's good. Great, click on OK. So what I want to do is I want to do a nested style with this one here. So let's just select what I want to nest. So I can just highlight these ones here. Uh, I can then go to my paragraph options. OK, through bullets and numbering just here. Uh, so I've got this number here. So now what I want to do this is a level two. Uh, and at the moment, the mode, it says it's, uh, I've got an um, option here. It says continue from previous uh, number, which is true, but it's going to restart the this numbers at this level after any previous level. So what it can do is you see it's got one, it's got two, and then it restarts it one, two, three, four. Looking good. So now what I want to do is I want to change the format of this level. So I'm going to go down to and choose the small, no, let's choose the little A, B, and C. So I can see A, B, and C, and that's in here. That's good. I can then start increasing the indent as well to bring it across. Let's just reduce the tab position a little bit as well. So you can muck around with that a bit. That's great. Uh, yeah, great. So yeah, nearly done with that one. Uh, of course, um, what we need to do is just do a style out of that. So if we click on OK, and then if we go to our paragraph styles just up here, uh, at the moment you see it's number level one with a style override applied to that. Um, what I'm going to do here is just click on this new style. There's paragraph style one. I'm just going to double click to the right of that style. So it should be number level two. That's good. It's based on whatever number level one is. That's good. But let's have a look and see what the bullets and numbering is here. Yeah, we go. So it's picked up everything that we have here, which is good. But um, we've picked up the A, B, C and all of that type of thing. But what we want to do is I want to have 2A, 2B, 2C, 2, 3. And then, of course, the next one's down. So how do I do that? So if I click just here, basically, and then if I click on this little drop down list just here, let me just zoom in so you can see that. There we go. I'm going to click on insert special or number placeholder. I'm just going to go down to and choose level one. So it will pick up whatever the above level is. And if I zoom out back so you could see that, you can see this is two for snorkeling and then two A flippers, two A D snorkel, etc. Uh, so yeah, we go. There's a nested list. And all I need to do is if I just zoom in one more time, I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to add just after this one A full stop. That's good. Um, that's it. And just click out of that there. And you can see the updates over here. It's added a little full stop in here and it's starting to look a lot better. Great. Excellent. So now all I need to do is, uh, I mean, if, if I wanted to change this, I can add a pink highlight, I suppose, to it. If I wanted to change that, I'm not going to. Um, it's, you know, it's so, so flexible, but it's really good. Click on OK. And there we have it. So I hope you got something out of that. Please give us a thumbs up if you've done so. It'll be really, really helpful. Um, if you uh, haven't already done so as well, please click on that subscribe button. Really appreciate that uh, so you don't miss anything. You, so you can um, click on that notifications as well so you don't miss anything. Uh, if you've got any comments or any suggestions as to how you do numbered lists and how you do bullet lists within InDesign, then I'd really appreciate it in the comments below if you've got any questions. Um, if I've got a chance or time or if I know the answer, then I will do my very best to answer that. So I just want to say I, well, I just want to say thank you so much for watching.